Hi and welcome back. We're working on our second project in our Introduction to Dreamweaver series here. And so far we've gone ahead and created the main page layout that we're going to go ahead and use for this project. The next thing we need to go ahead and do is to begin to create some templates so that we can create the interior pages for this site and set up the actual home page. So let's go ahead and create the first basic template that we're going to use in this site. I'm going to go ahead and go to the insert menu and you can see I have my main.html file opened up here inside of my site and we're going to go ahead and go to the insert menu and we're going to come down and we're going to select template objects right here and underneath template objects we want to go ahead and select make template because we want to make this basic page layout into a template so I'll select that and you're going to get this dialog box that comes up we need to go ahead and name this template so I'm going to go ahead and you can name it whatever you want I'm just going to go ahead and call it basic and you can see I'm saving this in my Conte video project folder and I don't have any existing templates right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit save there and it's going to ask me if I want to update my links. I do so I'm going to go ahead and click yes right there. So we've gone ahead now and we've converted this into a template. Now the next thing that we need to go ahead and do is we need to go ahead and make the content region here into an editable region. That way we can go ahead and customize that content on the individual pages. So to do that what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to highlight all of this content in this content area and then I'm going to go ahead and go to modify here and select templates and you're going to see whoops I'm sorry I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to go ahead and select template objects and I'm going to select editable region here. So I want to insert an editable region around all of the content that I have highlighted here. So template objects and editable region. I need to go ahead and name that region. I'm going to go ahead and call it content and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now you can see that that content area has this teal shaped border around it indicating that that's an editable region. And again that's going to be the area on the page that we can actually edit for the individual pages the rest of the material on this page, the banners and the menu items, all those common areas are going to be controlled by the actual template. And again from our last series you learned about some of the benefits of templates. Just a quick review, the main benefit of templates is that those common areas can be updated instantly on all of your pages just by modifying the template. So for example let's say this banner graphic that's right here or this top graphic, if I wanted to make some change to those, all I would have to do is change the template file and then all of the pages that um, are formatted with that will automatically have that change cascade into them. You know, or for example, um, here's something really common, when 2012 comes around and I need to modify the footer text, since this is going to be controlled by the template I just make that change once in the template and then all of the other pages instantly update themselves based on those pages. Actually you don't instantly do it but as soon as you hit update it will um, carry those over. So we've gone ahead now and we've created a template. I need to go to the file menu and select save and we're now ready to go ahead and use the template to actually create some pages and uh, set up some content. So I can go here to the my files menu here and there's my home page, my index.html. And again, I got this when we copied over my basic site starter from my um, from my uh, framework. If you don't have that right now, you can just right click here and select new file and name it index.html. Well, I'm going to go ahead and open that on up here and you can see I've just got a blank page here. If I go into code view, it's perfectly empty. If you created your own page, you're probably going to want to come into code view here, select everything and delete it. So we just want to start with a completely blank document. Then to apply this template or the template we just created to this page, you're going to go ahead and go to the modify menu, 
select templates and choose apply template to page you get this little dialog box that comes up and all the templates that you've created right now we just have a basic template there um, will be listed in there so I just go ahead and select that and go ahead and click select and you'll see that template has been applied to my home page I'm gonna go to the file menu and select save and again just like in our previous project when I go ahead and hover over the common areas you're going to see that I get the little cursor that's the circle with the slash through it indicating that I can't make changes in these areas but if I come down here to my content area that's inside of my editable region you'll see I could highlight and I could make changes to that area same thing down here for my um, footer and my sub banner down there those are locked out because they're not in editable regions now one of the advantages of Dreamweaver is that it gives you the opportunity to create as many different templates for a site as you want right now we just have the one template the basic template but let's say we wanted to create a couple of other templates let's say I wanted to have a template that for instance has the rotating banner up here at the top or have a template that has a content area and then a right hand sidebar maybe to put specials on I could create a, another template to accommodate that so you can create as many different page templates as you need and then as you create the individual pages in the site just apply those templates to that page in the next video we're gonna go ahead and create two more templates for this site we're gonna go ahead and create a template that has a right hand sidebar here so we'll have this basic template that has a full width content area and then we're gonna have a second template that's gonna have a right hand sidebar here and then we're gonna go ahead and create a third template that's going to go ahead and add the um, rotating banner to the top here so as we create the individual pages in our site we'll be able to choose between those three um, those three uh, styles one word here you're going to notice that my menu items are being cut off here I think this may be happening because of the video but if you ever see something like this just click on live view or preview it in a browser by coming here and you should see everything working and looking correct so in the next video we're gonna go ahead and create those second two templates